let's use multiple regression or sometimes multiple linear regression to predict somebody's job commitment. Job commitment is a measure of how people, how committed someone is to a job. And if you're a manager, that's like really important because you don't want people quitting on you. You want them to be there to do the, the job. So we're going to use two variables in this model to predict job commitment. We're going to use how much someone likes the Kardashians and the quality of the of their relationship with their boss. So these are going to be two variables in this model. We're going to call them x1 and x2. And that's what we have in these first two columns, Kardash and rel with boss. We've got the data on how much they like the Kardashians and how, how good their relationship with their boss is. And we're going to use that to see if this can predict job uh, commitment very well. We're going to do this with linear regression, trying to predict y from x1 and x2. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our data analysis tool pack that should be installed. And if not, you can see, watch a video on how to do that. We're going to go for regression. OK. Now the input range is going to be everything in this table. Uh, no, the y, no, it says in y range. So that's just job commitment. So I go to the top of the column job commitment, do shift down arrow and get all of the data there. Now for the input range, I want to delete stuff that's there. And I want to go from B5, get the other column, relationship with boss. So I want both columns, and I want to go down and get all the data for that. And I want labels to be checked. The output range Let's uh, see, it's, it's set at F4. F4 is good, might as well leave it there. And I press OK. And we get a lot of data. Now let's see, um, this is the output. Let's uh, round off the digits first. So let's go to uh, Home, the Number section, choose Number. And what are the things that interest? R squared. So R squared is 35%. So that predicts 35% of the variation in job commitment. What people think of the Kardashians and the relationship with their boss. There's perhaps better things that, that do that. And here we have the numbers that we need for our equation, the intercept and the two coefficients. And so we can say that Given that y equals job commitment, x1 is how much likes the Kardashians, and x2 is the quality of relationship with one's boss, we can write this equation, y equals, now the Kardashian's coefficient is minus 0 0.71, minus 0 0.71 x1. So the more you like the Kardashians, the less you're committed to work. Then space plus space 0.49 x2 the relationship with your boss so it's a positive coefficient so you the more you like your boss the more you're uh, committed to uh, your job uh, plus 1 1.87 now let's go here and make some subscripts so i'm going to highlight the one right click format cells and I'm going to do subscript, OK. I'm going to do the same thing to the two. Highlight, right click, format cells, subscript, OK. And there we have our equation, y equals minus 0.71x plus 0.49x2 plus 1.87. And this is multiple regression to get an equation to describe uh, uh, one to predict what one's job commitment will be from two variables how much someone likes the, the kardashians and the quality of one's relationship with his or her boss